why I enjoy science because we're doing stuff and then we, we discover something even by accident and it's like oh what's going on and then yeah. you go on this path to find something new yeah it's like you know if somebody if you're a curious person um you know just kind of like following those those accidents um it sounds really cool so um, barney um for for everyone's sake do you think you could give them a, just a short summary of uh, your project and and what the aims and goals are yeah so in terms of the background so we, in, during my phd we identified that the endothelial cells in the brain by responding to the interferon alpha and likely causing all of the brain disease. So that's our underlying mechanism that we're trying to prove. So what this grant we're trying to aim for is to essentially just verify that it is actually going on. So we performed some single cell sequencing data on these mice that also show that the endothelial cells are Quite, well, they're quite, they're doing something, but we're not quite sure what they're doing yet. So I want to tease, go through this data to pick out what is different compared with all the other cells in the brain. And then from that, we check that in the mice as well as um, some human samples that we've obtained that was gen generously donated. And then if it does work out that the changes in the data reflect in the mice and also in the humans, we have a very nice link that we can work on and potentially target for future treatment. And on the well, second path is what we saw in the mice was that the vessels were quite inflamed. So the vessels, they or in the mice, they have aneurysms. Vessels are large, some are dying. So we also just want to verify that is occurring in the human brain. So then we'll have different aspects to show the vessels changing in the mice are also changing in human. We get the molecular link. And so we can develop targets in the future, try them on mice, and hopefully that will have a better reflection in the human. And then, so what made you interested in AGS or in leukodystrophies, or how did you kind of like join Marcus's team? I don't know if we, if we got that kind of background previously. Yeah, so... I joined during <clears throat> for my honours. After my undergraduate, we do honours. I joined during then and started working on inflammation in the brain. Then after that, I decided to just stay on with my PhD. Mm -hmm. Initially, we were looking at how diet affects the brain, how inflammation caused by diet in the brain causes changes. But then we decided to change track because the data on that wasn't so good. Mm -hmm. and that's when I started working on the given mice, so the, the model for AGS. Mm -hmm. Initially, it was just interesting because interferon, the inflammatory media, is somehow causing all of these weird neuropathology in the brain, the calcification, weed vessels, somehow neurons are dying and all of that. And then started investigating the mice, and then we came up with the question is like, which cell types are actually causing this? So then that's when we want to knock out certain, the interferon alpha receptor on certain cells. So we started looking at all a broad range of different cells and then eventually led to the endothelial cells. And that's the project so far. Um, so was it interesting to, because I, if I remember correctly, when we did that call all together with, the AGS parents in Australia, that was the first time that I think you or anybody in your lab had actually directly spoken to any AGS um, affected individuals, right? Or family? Yeah, it was a very good call. Um, we didn't realize the actual challenges on the personal level. Mm -hmm. Like gave us insights for like how you're dealing with it, um, how therapies are actually helping, oh, how treatment, how you actually deliver the treatments as well. Because it's easy to figure or try to work out how the mechanisms are going on, but how to apply that is a different story that we haven't yeah. touched on before. Um, is there anything that you would like to learn from the community about like how we can support you in in like moving forward like with this grant? Um, uh, is there anything you can think of or questions that you would have for us that, that we can help to answer?
some questions that I've been thinking is like more, what is the community interested in? Like in terms of, so we're doing research on the cellular level, but what questions or what thoughts have you guys been having in terms of what's going on? What are your proposed mechanisms as well? Because maybe we haven't been thinking about that. We're at a stage where sharing IDs would help us narrow down on our or our target mechanisms that we can address mm -hmm. and figure out. Yeah. Let me uh, toss you a softball. What do you like to do in your free time? Um, free time. Right now, just watching movies. But I do want to get back to playing guitar. I haven't done that in a while. We've seen that. What kind of movies do you like? Ooh, a mix. So I go horror and sci-fi. Um, that's interesting that that's what you watch to relax, because for me, those movies are a little bit stressful. 